it's not just a statistic but a reality that affects thousands of women yearly it's not just the number it's the life loss family torn apart and also the future cut short in this episode we will be talking about cervical cancer and most importantly what you need to do to protect yourself and the woman you love so join me hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am nurse obadon adironke and in today's episode i will be educating you more about cervical cancer what is cervical cancer what causes cervical cancer who are at risk of having cervical cancer the symptoms of cervical cancer how to prevent yourself or protect yourself from having cervical cancer and the treatment option of cervical cancer also the complication of cervical cancer so join me and let's educate and learn together cervical cancer is an abnormal growth of cell in the cervix that is the mouth of the uterus the womb which is connected to the vagina and the causes of cervical cancer is human papilloma virus that is the hpv damage the cervix and also destroy the surrounding tissue who are at risk of having cervical cancer smoker people who have low immunity that's low immune system like people living with hiv and aids people who have history of cancer in their family people who have multiple sexual partners they are all at risk of having cervical cancer what are the signs and the symptoms you get when you have cervical cancer although symptoms might not appear until the disease is advanced but you might also have some signs and some symptoms like abnormal bleeding chat when you are done having sex with your partner you bleed or you bleed in between your period you just finish your period today and after five days you are already bleeding again after a week you are already bleeding again you are when you are not supposed to bleed other one is lower abdominal pain or pelvic pain difficulty urinating and also abnormal vaginal discharge if you are having an abnormal vaginal discharge or you're having smelly or foul discharge this is the time you should go to the hospital to do a check -up. cervical cancer diagnosis. you can't really know if you have cervical cancer if you don't go for screening you have to go and see your gynecologist they will do a vaginal examination for you they will check if your cervix is having any abnormal growth you also do a pap smear and if there is any abnormal growth or anything they are going to do a biopsy to know if it's a cancerous growth or not how do you prevent yourself from having cervical cancer you can easily prevent yourself by regular pap semen can detect if you have any abnormal growth of cell in your cervix by practicing safe sex either by using condom or by staying with a partner and be sure of the partner you are staying with because hpv is an infectious disease this can be treated but the consistency can develop into cervical cancer also don't forget to take your hpv vaccine this vaccine is available in all health center just go to any health center and get vaccinated also quit smoking with this you'll be able to prevent and protect yourself against cervical cancer treatment option for cervical cancer we have surgery surgery to remove the uterus completely or to remove the surrounding cell that is damaged also we have radiation therapy this is a kind of therapy that kill the cancer cell directly we have chemotherapy this is a drug that also kill the cancer cell and targeted therapy which targets the specific cancer cell what are the complications of cervical cancer we have metastasis this is when the cancer have leave the service and enter some other part of the body and start growing from there that means moving from one place to another that is metastasis also we have fertility problem if you are having cervical cancer 
you might not be able to get pregnant or you will be having issue getting pregnant to be a problem so why not go to a nearest hospital and go check yourself out do a pap smear probably in conclusion cervical cancer is preventable if you take your hpv vaccine also by practicing safe sex and doing regular pap smear tests remember early detection can actually be the key to effective treatment if you're having any concern about your health see your health care provider don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more health related topic and if you have any topic you want me to cover or if you have any question please drop it in the comment section thank you very much for staying with me and for being here i will see you in my next episode bye